Hi friends, sorry I just had to quickly make this video and bring awareness to what I just found out. I will send them a video, a message of a video that was recorded by this man called David Cole, which is an, a, um, a, a leader in, uh, for the indigenous people of the Aboriginal uh, and Kiri people. And uh, he's been copying it like he, through for two years, he's been bullied, attacked. Um, thrown into prison, arrested, crazy stuff for standing up and speaking out against the un unjust, unrighteous, un unlawful things that have been going on to his people using these mandates and restrictions, just crazy stuff going on in oppression and tyranny. And so right now he has a message and I'm going to play it for you guys. And the reason why I'm doing this, I'm using what I can to help, which is make another video. So if they take down his video, you can see it from here or if they completely ban that video from going around unless there's another video maybe someone can make another video and so the more videos are going out the message will still get out there for what the australian government has planned next and what they're planning next the australian government is what they plan everywhere guys just because when you see one thing unfolding in one nation with this whole thing that's been going on for two years know that this is the global plan for every nation because this is a global takeover that's going on by the globalists for those of you that are awake you know what i'm talking about for those of you that are uh, becoming awake this is uh, some of the things that are happening plus you can go to look into it.com and go on to how deep the rabbit hole goes uh, go into the section where it talks about covered um, there's different menus and you'll get informed and start catching up to what's been going on that it was more than what they claimed and it was an agenda for a complete takeover like basically uh, uh, this is basically china the chinese communist party and what they've done to their people where you can't have more than one child you can't say specific things or you get arrested immediately no court no trial just arrested immediately complete tyranny fascism communism it, to its core uh, but that's kind of a, a little bit of a taste of what they're planning to do globally so um watch this video and i'll i'll speak into it a little bit more now i'm sorry that i just got the video today so i was able to make this video right after i received the message um but it's not too late even though What's going to happen is happening today in government. The part they're trying to pass this bill today. Remember, the Russian-Ukraine thing, complete distraction. Again, a, a sad, unfortunate, uh, evil, um, you know, just, um, you know, what they're doing to people, man. Like they're attacking one another, but they yeah, they use this. They take these opportunities to use things as a distraction or create distractions which are real distractions are real things that are going on where people are being hurt killed murdered crazy stuff going on and they keep unfolding their plan behind the scenes while you're looking in the their fake stream fake uh, news media you know and all the other platforms you just go to your email and you're seeing the news on that too i just want to look at my email man why are you flooding me with the news because it's all about conditioning the mind brainwashing you distracting you so this is what's going on. This is David Cole. And uh, I'll come back and keep continue speaking. Watch this. Give me a second. Here we go. It's Sunday the 13th of March, 2022. This is a message to the Australian people. It's we are so in the serious. last minute, not the last hour. The Queensland government on the 28th of March is planning to pass a bill to hand over all biosecurity measures to the UN. They have now pushed this forward to the 15th of March, which is this Tuesday. Today. Uh, Brother Tricky and a lot of warriors and, and, and brothers and sisters are gathering in um, in the Brisbane CBD, um, I believe at Musgrave Park, uh, preparing to um, stand up against this bill and challenge it and try and stop it. We need everybody in Brisbane and the Queensland region to get behind them and support them. Now, look how serious this is. You won't hear anything about this bill in the media of course because it's corrupt it's sold it's taken over and used as one of their tools to bring out the agenda so don't watch the news guys um because it's just going to distract you by other things going on so they can still bring to pass what they're doing but watch how serious the thing that they want to give over the powers they want to sign over to the un watch what it'll do what it gives what power it gives uh, if they pass this bill okay we're all in a lot of trouble because a couple of years ago, the uh, Australian government passed a bill that international uh, UN soldiers and domestic soldiers 
are immune from any crimes under a biosecurity act. Did you hear that? Now the Queensland government is going to hand over all biosecurity measures to the UN. That makes all UN soldiers, mercenaries and corporate agents. It gives them full immunity for any crime, meaning they can do whatever they want to any of us. This is a very serious situation, guys. This is this is the end game for us. If we don't stand up and take back this country now, we're not only going to lose the country, but we're going to lose all our freedoms. And we're going to be under the control of foreign powers that are immune from any crimes um, and under a biosecurity measure. So please get behind Tricky and the crew in Brisbane trying to stop this bill. Thank you. Now, listen to what he said, guys. This is crazy, isn't it? And because the UN, if you don't know already, is just another corrupt, evil um, uh, organization that it is it, the f all, all of these organizations, the World Health Organization, NATO, uh, you know, the, the World Economic Forum, all these world world and all this kind of stuff. And even some of these ones that are meant to help, like Oxfam, Red Cross, all this kind of stuff. They all have this cream on top. Uh, where it looks good and there's good people trying to do good things. But it's like a pyramid. The higher you go, the more you see that they were never, uh, they are not, it is not their agenda, it is not their motivation. But they need the lower uh, uh, parts of the pyramid of the people that don't know what's going on at the top so it looks good to the public, so they can get away with what they're doing. So this is another, United Nations is another corrupt um, organization. Um, go on, look into a dot com. You'll find uh, information about that on where it says how deep the rabbit hole goes. Watch one of the, the first documentary with the finger with the girl uh, being silenced, the little girl being silenced by someone with the finger there. Watch that video and that'll start the whole thing for you to see how corrupt and how deep and how even demonically spiritual this goes as well. How sat satanic rituals, it goes crazy deep. But you, you need to know what's going on. But now, let me just say, yes, today is the day that he was talking about rallying up and coming and, and protesting basically against them passing this bill. But I want to tell you, I put a post about a few months back uh, about another bill they wanted to pass about something in Australia. And I was telling people, listen, they're going to pass it. Doesn't matter how and they were asking, let, guys, let's sign, sign petitions, let's rally, let's protest against this bill, which was a disgusting bill. I think one of them was also to extend the powers that for Dan Andrews and stuff. Um, the, to be able to continue with these emergency powers on people, oppressing people, people losing their jobs and uh, houses and everything, unless they get vaccinated. But, um, and I said, it's going to pass anyway. And if there's so many people that rally up and petition, they're just going to go quiet, uh, bring distractions through the media and all that, you know, the platforms and stuff that people are influenced by. And then they'll pass it anyway. They'll just make a few changes and, and then they'll just pass it anyway. That's exactly what happened. They change a few things that don't matter. They say, they'll say they re-looked at it. They play with words all the time and then they pass it anyway. In the same way, this bill that they're planning to, 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 to pass today will probably pass. But let me tell you something, guys. It's not too late because you got to change the way you think. Stop thinking that you need this government's permission. That you have to go, oh, petition and sign things and give it to them like their mommy and daddy. Look what we signed. Can you not do it, please, daddy, mommy? You got to stop thinking like this. This is these guys are not even who you think they are. They are um, disguised as a government, but it's been hijacked a long time ago, and they're not for the people. If you haven't seen in the Bible, it says you know them by their fruits. You haven't seen them fruits, guys. And of course, the people that have been manipulated, it's because they in the media they'll use words that that uh, make it sound always kind. The things they'll do to people, it makes it sound like they're doing it for your own good. It's for our protection. It, we got to do this together. We're in this together. It always has to sound like that because we fall for it, because there is a heart to want to help. There is a heart to participate in something bigger and something better and something that's good. And that's how they play us with words that means the complete opposite to people like this. Now, there's too much evidence to show that, guys, this is not even, this government's a corporation. They're, the the police that they're using as pawns are just the security guards to bring to pass their their um, agenda and the things that they want to bring by bullying, by unlawfully arresting, uh, you know, hurting people, oppressing people, finding people. It's all about making money and, and draining the people of as much money as they can through taxes, through penalties, through fines, through permits of things that don't need permits. They just over and over through the years. 
uh, increased in the way they, they function. And this is happening not just in Australia, in nearly every nation, in every nation that's meant to be democracy, that's meant to be the people uh, that make decisions where they vote for something. People have been left out. They play their games where they meet in these little rooms where they and it's, it could be filmed and they're arguing against one another about a bill if they're going to be passed and this and that. And, and it's like a little show for us to think, oh, at least they're discussing it. It doesn't matter, man. Whoever they want to put into office, into prime minister, into presidents, they do. They've manipulated everything, software, everything, guys. And we just fall for it because we... They play this game, they, they film this show on the media, the, the fake news media, and they they play us. And we watch it going, yeah, but they did that. And they they did count the votes, and they this and that. And then they come up with whoever they wanted as the next puppet, really willful puppet, bought out, paid well, to um, do their agenda. These globalists, this few, that are... Money is not an op, uh, not, not a worry for them. They have billions, trillions. Their money is nothing for them. And they've been putting their tentacles in every little thing. I've made other videos about this. But the way we go forward, guys, is not, uh, is my opinion, is not by protesting and begging these governments, please don't do it and don't do it. They're going to pass it anyway because there is a global agenda happening and it's unfolding before our eyes. These wars and things that are happening are all distractions. They're used. They're real things going on. And like I said before, people are being hurt, murdered, uh, you know, all this stuff because governments want to attack each other and then the people become victims of this from both sides. Russians are copying it as well. Normal everyday people that don't even want this or have been persuaded through the media and brainwashed through the media to want things. And yeah, yeah, because they've been told lies. They've been fed lies about each side, why it's okay and why, uh, you know, his right to do this and his right to do that. I couldn't care less. You governments that have accumulated debts and then put it on the people, we never had a say in that. And so... With this way moving forward that I'm going to suggest right now is common law. Common law is the legal system, the, the, the lawful system that was meant, was meant to reign and govern uh, over us, with us, and through us. And it was for the people, by the people. And what I want you to know that there's a place called commonlawcourt.com. And I'm going to put the, the image right now. Please don't switch off. Listen to what I'm about to say, guys, because it'll help. These guys, what I looked into, I have nothing to gain from these guys. I don't even, I don't have anything to do with them in the sense I don't get paid by them. I just found out about them, investigated a little bit about them, um, interviewed some of the commissioners of this thing. And they have been vocal. They've been tired of what's been going on. They've been vocal and have just not just been vocal, but have um, exposed and brought awareness of what the corruption that these governments around the world, Italy, Cyprus, Greece, UK, Australia, America, you name the nations, guys, they've all been involved in this. Um, any nation that's been give, putting, pushing these restrictions on the people is the fruit that they are part of this global agenda. The nations that have not been willing to do it are the ones that are not actually part of this agenda. So this is how you know. Um, and they've been purchased. Some of the governments have been bought out, the ones that are significant, the ones that can make the decisions I'm talking about. Of course, there's people in government that are good, they have nothing to do with anything. They just went into government, even in politics, for a good reason. Um, but I'm talking about the ones that can make a difference. They've been bought out either through getting paid a lot and are going to be paid a lot and are going to get incentives as this system moves into communism and complete fascism and global, global takeover. And some of them have been threatened into contributing and doing playing their part because they need them for a time and they're going to dispose of them like they do with everybody that they deal with, these globalists. And it gets uh, really um, it gets really deep, guys. Um, like I said, go to lookinto.com, check out how deep the rabbit hole goes tab, and you'll see lots of uh, videos for that. But with Common Law Court, what they did was they, they started exposing how these governments are not functioning under proper the proper law system that was meant to function under and it's completely corrupt and the way they've been getting away with it is through getting us to be deceitfully contracting with them under maritime law which is a legal system it's got nothing to do with law and so they blame us because they if they can deceive us into submitting to them through verbally or through contracting with them with signing any paper that they give us then we are the ones who allowed ourselves to come under them that's how they look at it. So even though it's an un unlawful system, it's a system that was meant to function in the sea and to do with trading and companies. I've done other videos about this. 
they've been putting this and things that are lifeless they've been putting this on the on the as a law of the land which is is unlawful it cannot be used on the land because it's not the law of the land the law of the land is common law or natural law and they've been deceiving us into participating it uh, with maritime law which cannot be used on the living so only common law can be used on the living living man living woman and on the land but like i said through deceitfully using um, using maritime law and then getting us to contract with them and go along with them through intimidation through uh, deceptive tongue like using sentences and ways of talking as if it's a matter of fact and then you think okay and then you submit yourself to their authority by your free will they'll say but it's because they were they cunningly did it and so and if because you if you say but i didn't know that's your problem they'll say because they have the the system and the paperwork is there for you to read up on how it functions um so these guys commonlawcourt.com they've created also a place where you can do constable training under common law so you basically you become a police officer under common law so i'm saying guys maybe the, the the strategy should be and I, I believe this is the way forward or one of the ways forward that i can see because i see it i, I thought okay i'll just mention it i'll tell people man as much as possible and i'm still learning myself if there's enough people get trained not just protesting but then get trained learn to go if thousands say i'm going to get trained under common law constable you don't have to know everything about common law but become a common law constable then you don't have to care about any bill they pass then there's constables, so there's police officers, there's a force raising up lawfully, guys. It's a lawful. That's why they can't undo this. They can't arrest you for doing this. It's been happening in different nations already, but small pockets. But if thousands of people become aware of this and come together, at least in this one place, there are these guys that took an initiative and uh, become common law constables, then a government can also raise up through common law. So an alternate government raises up and starts arresting and bringing down in a lawful way, non-violent way, but because there's so much, so much more of us that can bring the righteous and justice back and arrest those who have been uh, willingly, knowingly, knowingly participating in bringing these evil laws, uh, legal uh, moves and signing bills that are going to harm people. Once the UN, which is again, like I said to you, it's a corrupt organization, comes, guys, they couldn't kill us. They're not going to be Australian soldiers. They're going to be UN soldiers. And no Australian person inside of that UN is going to be allowed to come and be part of the troops that are going to be landing in Australia to do what they're going to do. If not, that they're already there anyway. But once they're released, they couldn't kill us. They don't love Australia because none of them are Australian. They make sure of this and they're going to enforce crazy stuff like what happened with time of hitler guys it is crazy times coming but there is a window and i believe the way to move forward is check out the common law court training in fact i'm going to put a link of my rumble channel and click on the constable training thing i'll become a constable he says okay common law constable and i had an interview with one of the trainers and i was asking him full-on questions because i want everyone to be clear and i want to be clear about things but what about this what are the risks what will happen this is that unlawful could they do something to us and he just answers everything guys okay so you can get informed but this is a way forward an alternative government raising up right now is needed because there's an actual government there that is like a mafia that's not there for the people it's here to oppress the people while they speak nicely and uh, have a smile on their face remember guys it took People like Martin Luther King that we honor and, and love what he done and speak about what he done historically, but he had to stand up against the uh, tyranny, well, the illegal or the restrictions and mandates, the things that the, the government back then in America was enforcing and, uh, and encouraging and promoting as good to oppress black people. And he stood up. It needed him to stand up. And people started standing up and saying, no, this is not right. It needs the people to stand up to stop what they're doing. It can't be just, I'm going to pray, guys. That's good. Let's pray. But God used, if you look through history, look through the Bible, God used majority of the time people to work with and through to stop the evil that was coming to his people and that was coming against people. So this is happening again. This is not a joke. This, they're going for it. 
And as much as grand as we keep giving them saying, come on, it's okay. You know, the Jews, many of the Jews are survivors from what happened with Hitler. Say that we, when they were asked, but why didn't you stop it? They kept on saying this, come on, no, he's not going to go that far. He's not going to go that far. And because they wouldn't step up with the time they could have, next thing you know, they're getting put badges on them. Uh, you know, the Star of David to be uh, discriminated against. This is who the, we're, we're against. And this is, uh, and remember, the German people went along with it. How did it happen? The government, the, the propaganda, the media, the way they would use newspapers, articles, things like this to cause people to agree with the government to be participating in attacking, in even verbally or bullying the people that, you know, were getting bullied. Um, so this is what they're doing again. They've done this over and over, generation to generation. It's the same globalists. They have their tentacles and play the same games and repeat history over and over using the abilities and what's available at that time. Now we have more social media platforms, blah, blah, blah. They're using that. So that's why we go to visit your, your email and you'll see, uh, you know, advertising of the news. I didn't get my email I'd go, provide, I didn't go through them so they can keep flooding me with news, but they'll do it. Why? Because they've got the tentacles on everything that we will use in our everyday life. They convinced us and lured us into using that could be good, but were also used for their agenda. Everything that is used to lure us has to look good. So it looks harmless. It looks like what's the big deal. So at the end, they can use it because we're so addicted to things they can use it for their agenda. Anyway, Wanted to let you know about what's going on, guys. This is a bill that they probably will pass. I don't, it doesn't matter what we think, what we say, how much we protest, how much we, look how much they've passed everything that we protested against and stood against and spoke out against. They were arresting people from the houses, from a Facebook post. This is Australia, guys. This is a place where it's meant to be democracy. This doesn't happen. Come on, man. This is North Korea. This is not North Korea. This is not China. What are you talking about? This doesn't happen here. Uh, yes, it does. And it's happening in every nation, as some more than others, but it's happening, guys. They've got an agenda and it hasn't finished yet. They're going for it. And I do believe there's a second wave happening. What they're doing right now with, oh, we dropped the mandates, things are getting better. It's a distraction. What's going on with Russia, Ukraine? It's a distraction. It's getting us to look this way and also get casual going, okay, we've got our freedoms back. Really? There was a picture that I really like where there was a guy that... Um, gets released saying lockdown is over and, he, and it's like the prison and he gets released from a prison because he was locked down and there's an, he comes into another prison but he feels it's lockdowns over like the mandates are over why because he's less he's, he's a bit more free than what they've made him that they've took so much rights away that just a little bit of freedom like i'm free no you're not look at the cage you're in again now they released you into another prison because they took so much of your rights you know they say like this they 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 move the goalpost that's what they do. They keep moving it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And we can function within that little bit right now. But it's a, a it, first they go boom. And then they release it a little bit and then down and release it a little bit and then keeps getting smaller. That's how they do it. So they're playing us. Uh, it's a massive agenda that's going on. Um, I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping that it stops. But one of the ways forward I see is an alternate government raising up, functioning under common law, the law of the land, the proper lawful way. And then through that, through their court system being taken back and being used for common law instead of le uh, legislative law, statutory law, the maritime law system, which is unlawful to be used on, on us, on the living, um, then we can take a, our, our nations back lawfully, righteously, justly, and uh, even without violence, because there's so many of us. We're not, we don't need to protest. We're just like, this is enough. We have our government now alternate government and its functions uh, everything functions through common law and so you can bring that means again through common law you can bring any individual as an individual to court to be tried if you have evidence for the reason you are trying that person it has to be judged by the people notice a jury of the people must judge the people that's how it works but you need to have evidence for this and witnesses and all that kind of stuff and that's how the court system always works for common law so, and again, you can bring any individual to common law. It doesn't matter what their title is, if it's chief of police, the head of the government, a prime minister, it doesn't matter. He doesn't come under his title. If you have evidence that he played a part in, and you believe intentionally in bringing this evil uh, or, or unlawful tyranny, 
uh, you know, um, mandates, restrictions, whatever, and had no basis, then you can bring them to common law court and try them. They're going to, if we don't stand up, guys, they're going to, this is going to continue on to our children's children. We need to stand up. It's not about us. If you don't have children, your little cousin, your brother's children, your, your sister's children. Guys, we need to raise up. Something's going on. I don't believe it's the end, meaning the uh, complete end times like the Bible says with the Antichrist and stuff. But it will look very similar because Satan works the same way. Behind this, of course, I believe Satan's driving it. It's his tentacles. It's his character. It's his fruits. Uh, you know, uh, But we, the people, can rise up and stop this. Just like Martin Luther did. Just like many people did. Gandhi. People stood up against what was unlawful in their nation. They didn't sit back. And those people made a difference. Let's be those people. All right. See you. And please share this, guys. Share it quickly.